We are now less than 45 days from April Fool's Day. What long con pranks should be started around now? My roommate would get up and steal the shower as soon as he heard my alarm go off. Six weeks later, I had him waking up to shower at 4.30. I would just turn off my Pavlovian alarm and go back to sleep for another 3 hours waiting for the real alarm. What an evil fucker. I had a roommate just like this. Wish this solution had occurred to me. One April Fool's Day I got a text from a wrong number. It happens, but he was nice so we kept talking from time to time. His name was Jeff. Talked about video games, music. I feel like I made a really great friend. I told all my friends about it. Lasted a few weeks then stopped. Fast forward to the following April Fools and Jeff texted me. I was like oh shit what's up man. We texted a bit when finally my friends broke down and said dude, Jeff has been us the whole time. We just forgot to tell you last year. It's my birthday and I've never been pranked on April 1st. However I did prank my 8th grade teacher and got into a lot of trouble. He was this annoying to cool for his job type. Said he knew the police. Banned not uniforms. Anna how he would always walk around and around the classroom pontificating on whatever and when he'd pass by his desk he would always step in his trash can to crush the papers. So, I filled the trash can three quarters with water and topped it off with scrunched up paper. Worked beautifully and I spent the rest of the day on the hallway waiting to be told if I was suspended or not. Don't know if you can pull this off, but it was of the funnier prank stories I heard on click and clack slash car talk. Some guys worked with another guy who was obsessed with his car's gas mileage, so the co-workers slowly started adding gas to his tank without the owner knowing it, like they'd add 2 cups a day for a week, then the next week, they'd add 3 cups a day, etc. Since the guy was so obsessed, he thought his car was getting better and better gas mileage and was bragging to everyone in the office. Then the guy slowly started to reverse the process. The guy freaked out. Everyone laughed. I wish someone would play that prank on me, who doesn't love free gas. The nameplates at my office job have paper inserts with the cube dweller's name. I'm going to print out a bunch of one person's name in smaller fonts, like increments of 0.25. I'm going to start replacing with smaller fonts each day starting March 1st. I know it's not super crazy, but should be fun. You'll get to unreadable with that increment change pretty quickly, probs before April hits. I work with a group of 5 to 6 guys. I plan on separately swearing each of them to secrecy, then revealing that one of their co-workers is planning a wicked April Fool's Day gag on the man, that we should work to plan an even better one against this schema. If I do it right, I'll have my co-workers conniving to destroy one another and sit back and watch it all unfold, as long as they don't catch on. Same as I do the rest of the year, turn up at work and try to convince people I'm competent and hardworking. It's going to be hilarious when they eventually find out I'm neither. TIL my career is an April Fool's joke. My great grandpa got his kids to start cracking hard boiled eggs on their foreheads. Then, on April 1st, he gave my great uncle a raw egg. My wife and son teamed up on me for this one a couple years ago. Drove me nuts. For weeks leading up to April 1st, one or the other would report that there was a leak in our bathroom. I'm the default handyman so I check it out and sure enough, there'd be a mysterious puddle of water on the floor. Check the walls, ceiling, no moisture, check the tub, the shower, no drips, kept happening week after week, and I could not figure out what the hell was going on. April 1st comes, kid comes in and says, I figured it out, I found the leak. When I was in high school, I brought a bag of garlic flavored jelly beans to school to prank my friends on April Fools. Instead a classmate grabbed them out of my bag during group work. It was a school with under 100 students. So everyone knew I brought extra treats. And I hear some odd shouting from across the room. Said classmates then handed them off to our teacher to try. Without saying why. And I unintentionally pranked my entire year. So I recommend putting out candy on your desk, and day of, refill it with shocking flavors. Jelly Belly has oodles of odd and uncomfortable flavors. I got jelly beans from my local southern season from one of the variety containers, and the next day bit into one and it tasted funny. Looked at the guide on the back and it was draft beer. More or less long con, but I ordered a roll of 4 apple use only stickers, and I plan on covering all my sister's belongings with them. Dude, label every sheet on a roll of toilet paper. 
I started dating my now wife 20 years ago this April 1st. I'm almost ready to say April fools. Can we get an F for this man? Assess your diet, get exercising, drink more water, and on the 31st of March go on a shopping spree. Then on the 1st of April get dressed, look stunning, feel better, everyone will be surprised, you'll get compliments, and you can take it as the first day of the rest of your life. Best prank ever. Someone woke up on the right side of the bed today. I found out I was pregnant on March 31st about 3 years ago. My, now, husband sent me the, when she's still pregnant on April 2nd meme. Start buying different light bulbs for every light in your house. If you've got soft light, buy the sunlight bulbs. If you've got the sunlight bulbs, go with the soft light bulbs. Install all of them overnight going into April Fool's Day. Act like nothing has changed. For bonus points, continue swapping them once every few days and see how long you can keep it going. It's like electric gaslighting. Gaslighting 2. Electric Bugallo. Gaslighting 2. Electric Switcheroo. Slowly move your friend's desk one inch a day or every other day. Put a nickel in their phone every day. Add keys to their keychain every time they get up. The problem is when your wife sees it and laughs. Start learning a foreign language. On April Fool's Day, pass out and wake up only speaking said language. You're going to need a lot more time to pull this one off. If you start now, you might be able to make it work next year. You don't have to become an expert just learn some relevant phrases. In college, a bunch of students got together with local police and staged a murder crime scene in a professor's office. Fake blood, yellow crime tape, the police taking statements and questioning the professor on his whereabouts during the time of the killing. It took a lot of planning ahead of time, totally got it, was talked about for many years after. Would be cool if he actually confessed. Honestly, kinda lucky the professor wasn't just like I'll let you know when I've contacted my lawyer and walked away. Would have been a lot of effort for no payoff. Here's how I convinced a friend his house was haunted. Rainex is the stuff you put on your windshield to keep it from fogging up. Instead, you sit to write on your friend's bathroom mirror various haunting phrases. They go into the bathroom, lock the door, get in the shower, and come out to find someone has seemingly written on their bathroom mirror while they thought they were alone. Get out, help me, something more personal, or whatever you like. Every time you want to change the message, just use some dish soap and then glass cleaner. Dip your face in it, then press your face to the mirror leaving a face print of it. This is more of a day of situation but it's too good not to share. At my work we clock in by punching in our employee number. Last year one of my co-workers placed a sign on the time clock that read the time clock has been updated for voice activation. Please state your full name followed by clocking in slash out. All day I just heard people yelling at the time clock trying to clock in. It was incredible. My manager was in on it too so no one was made late because of it. Just good clean fun. Fake a coma. You can stop faking it on April Fools and tell everybody about your prank. That's a good night's sleep. Bring hand moisturizer to work and leave it somewhere like the break room. Conspicuously use it and convince as many other people to use it as possible. On April 1st, replace it with a bottle filled with water-based lube. I would do this, but with hand sanitizer. I put an ad on Craigslist in New York City looking for a wiki impersonation for a film I was making but I listed my friend's phone number. In the instructions I wrote if I answer just make the noise and hang up. I'll call you back if it's good enough. If you get my voice email follow the same procedure. Long story short I forgot about it for 3 months and one day I was out getting wings with him when he received a call. He slammed his phone down pissed. I asked what was wrong and he proceeded to tell me about how he has been getting weird phone calls and people just making noises and hanging up. I couldn't stop laughing and finally let him know why and he was not as amused. Apex Legends needs to turn on full damage for the day. Friendly fire would get more people killed. The one I have planned for this year is to get a bunch of TV remotes that are the same as the ones my family has, and on April 1st put them all around the living room and hide the actual remote. They could have done a 2 year long con with Brexit if they'd timed it better. Might not be one you can start now, but, if you have long hair and you wear glasses, get most, or all, 
of your hair cut off and switch to contacts, then just pretend you're someone else for a day or so, would work even better if you have a beard. Draw a large cock and balls on the school field with weed killer. Even better is learn how to draw it anatomically correct so that it looks like a real hyper realistic penis. You should be able to pull this off after a hard month of training. Hard month. Mom knocks on my bedroom door what are you doing in there? Training mom go away. You have been visited by the smart studying doggo. You'll be blessed with good grades only if you subscribe to comment awards and like the video. PG. On top, food chain, won't stop, new game, hot box, that blue haze, one lot, two chains, no bras, two bays, mic drop, new stage, lights in my rear view, five cops, fools race, faster than a Tesla, they say I'm exhausted.